what's up youtube welcome back to the channel don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this what have we got today from the hollywood reporter if you're a massive fan of werewolf movies as am i then you'll be pleased to know that christopher abbott is going to be replacing well not you won't be pleased to know but christopher abbott apparently is replacing ryan goslin and he's going to start in wolfman it's going to be a Bloomhouse and Universal production. Didn't even know it was in production. Last time we saw a Wolfman movie, I think it was in 2010. It had Benicio Del Toro and I think Anthony Hopkins was in it. It wasn't very good. I will kill all of you. I can't remember much about it, so it couldn't have been that good. Obviously, the 1941 version with Lon Chaney is highly revered. Still respected up to this day. So they're going to make a new one. So who is this Christopher Abbott guy? Christopher Abbott is currently on screens with award season darling Poor Things. I've just looked this movie up. I uh, didn't know anything about it, to be honest. Uh, it does look intriguing. It's got Emma Stone in it. It's got Willem Dafoe in it and Christopher Abbott. I might go and take a look at that at some point. See what that's all about. Anyway, Christopher Abbott's going to start in the Bloomhouse and Universal Pictures werewolf thriller that is being directed by the Invisible Man filmmaker Lee Wanell. You might remember The Invisible Man, I thought it was a really good thriller. Kind of a science fiction thriller, but in 2020, I think it was, Elizabeth Moss starred. Really good film. Uh, can't get enough of werewolf movies. You don't really get a, a great deal of good werewolf movies. What have we had in the past? We've had The Werewolf, 1941. We've had a load of Underworld movies, which was primarily, I don't know, vampire films, but it was vampires versus lycanthropes, or werewolves, if you like. Uh, one of the greatest werewolf movies in the world ever was American Werewolf in London back in the 80s. Some groundbreaking special effects there. A uh, brilliant film. Dog Soldiers, Neil Marshall's, one of Neil Marshall's very first movies, Dog Soldiers, a British horror thriller. <laughs> Starred Sean Pertwee, I think. Set in some moorlands in, in, in the UK. It was a great movie. What else we had? Ginger Snaps, The Howling, all sorts. But nothing of, of late. So this will be really interesting to see how this turns out. Additionally, the companies have set an October the 25th, 2024 release date for the feature. It means the project is now moving faster than a speeding Silver Bullet. Silver Bullet was another werewolf movie, actually, back in the 80s. It's a hair-raising development for the thriller, which for the past three plus years it had Ryan Gosling on board to star. It's going to mark a return to the Wolfman director's chair for Wanell. He was initially on board for the creature feature. He moved aside in 2021 with uh, Ryan Gosling's Place Beyond the Pines and Blue Valentine director Derek C. in France. But obviously he's no longer attached. So they brought Lee Wanell back in. I wonder if they're going to restart this Dark Universe thing that um, the Tom Cruise movie kind of sunk to the bottom of the Marianas Trench back in whenever it was 2017 or something with the Mummy reboot. It's not a controversial statement but it's not actually that bad of a film. I watched it recently and just took it for what it was and it was it was okay. It was a bit of fun. Yeah it was a lot of shite but it was it was never it's never gonna be as good as the, the Brendan Fraser version is it? So that sunk to the bottom of the sea so now we've got Invisible Man, we've got a, a Wolfman coming up, and I wonder if they're going to do a decent Dracula movie, and Jekyll and Hyde, etc. Who knows? Anyway, Goslin and C. and France have both departed the project, although Goslin will now receive an executive producer credit. Of course he will. Plot details are being kept on the dark side of the moon, but the mysterious story is now focused on a man whose family is being terrorised by a lethal predator, i.e. a giant wolf. The script was written by Wanell and Corbett Tuck, as well as Lauren Sugar Bloom and Rebecca Angelo. The latter, the duo who penned the well-regarded comedic drama Dumb Money, came out this year, which I haven't seen yet. For Wanell, Wolfman will mark a second monster movie and fourth directing collaboration with Bloomhouse. He did 2020's The Invisible Man, 2018's Upgrade, 2015 Insidious Chapter 3. Wolfman could turn out to be the most mainstream project yet for Abbott. Who has made a name for himself, starring in eclectic and unique indies over the years. He's got about 41, something like 41 credits under his belt, TV and film. So he's fairly well seasoned. I think he's about 40, early 40s. Uh, so he's probably got the chops to pull it off. I think I'm quite looking forward to it, actually. We could do with a really good werewolf movie. 
This year, in addition to poor things, Abbott also appeared opposite Tom Holland in Apple's The Crowded Room miniseries. Go and check that out on Apple TV. And that's all it has to say about that. I can't wait. That is exciting news because, you know, everything else this year has been shit. An explanation is probably long overdue. So look forward to 2024. I hate 2023. It's caused me so much anguish and pain. Uh, I can't wait to see the back of it. You can go and fuck yourself, 2023. All on new movies. Can't wait for the Wolfman. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. What's your favourite Wolfman movie? And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye now.